going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So we decided to kind of take a leap and try something different out for us. We got our hands on the new Starlink Mini Dish. Um, it's that router modem combo from SpaceX. This is meant to be more portable. It has its own roam plans. There's actually two different ones. We'll throw an affiliate link up down below if you care to pick it up. But the gist of this video, I wanna show you the unboxing experience, talk about the cost, and really how this differs from the standard dish, because this is substantially more expensive, especially now, uh, than the V3 regular Starlink dish is. Let's jump right into the unboxing and go over some features. Okay, so as you can see, the packaging is pretty minimalistic. It tells you it's Starlink with a picture of that modem, routem receiver here that we have. Nothing on the sides except for that pull tab to open it up. And then just a description on the back of what this is. Starlink mini kit, a serial number, and a PN number. So, let's go ahead and open this up. Kind of like what we were saying in that introduction also. This baby is definitely a little bit more expensive than its bigger brother. But, with it, you are getting the ability to travel, which is one big, big, big piece missing from the regular kit. So if you had the regular one, you cannot travel with it. It is only for one fixed location. Whereas this baby, it is meant to be portable and you are allowed to travel with it as long as you're going less than 100 miles an hour. Keep that in mind. So if you're on an airplane, you can't bring your own kit and hope for it to work because you're going quicker than that. Otherwise, if you're just driving down the freeway, this will work for you perfectly in your vehicle. So, right off the bat, let's take this cover off, and here is the dish that we will actually look at more in depth in a second. You have a 15 meter cable, so plenty of cable to run this wherever you'd like. So it's 15 meters or 50 feet. It is weather resistant as well, so don't have to worry about this getting damaged out in the elements. You're going to have a mount, and there are a ton of third-party and actual accessories that uh, SpaceX sells for this. This looks something like a tree mount, I would assume, to put it around that or something of that nature. If you so choose, you do have that included in the box. And then the power adapter here. This is, let's see, IP66, water and dust resistant, 60 watts is the charging speed on this. Uh, and you do have that little type connector there to get this up and running. But yeah, you have all your regulatory notes in a massive booklet. We'll pluck that to the side. And ironically enough, let me see if I can get this in frame. All the instructions for setup are actually on the box here themselves, right on the lid. You will need to download the Starlink app to get everything set up, but it should be pretty quick and easy. So again, before we get into this, one of the biggest things you can note here is just how much more really travel and portable this dish is. So it is not much bigger than a sheet of paper, as you can tell. And the thickness is, well, maybe two inches or so from the thickest point. This is not bad at all. You can look around the dish, it looks pretty, pretty simple. You have on the back here, where you plug that power adapter in, and it looks like it's covered, but I think this might be an ethernet port uh, down here also. Let me pull this off. And sure enough, it is. So that's nice. You do have one ethernet adapter if you wanna use that. Uh, I don't plan to hardwire anything in it. I'm gonna leave that covered because this port is actually not weather resistant. Keep that in mind. Only the charging port is, not the ethernet port. Again though, there are accessories and we will throw those affiliate links up down below. If you do want to hardwire something in, uh, to actually run straight from the dish. One of the other big differences from the mini and the actual full-size Starlink satellites is that this is only Wi-Fi 5 capable, not Wi-Fi 6. Uh, it is basically Wi-Fi AC, unfortunately, so you aren't gonna get those fast, fast data speeds over Wi-Fi. However, this and the larger disk are capable of downloading at the same speed and uploading as well at that same speed. It just can't translate over to your devices if you have uh, really any new iPhone or Android phone that are obviously Wi-Fi 6, 6E, or even now Wi-Fi 7 capable. So keep that in mind. You're paying a premium for the size, but not necessarily some of the features. 
What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this all set up. The unboxing experience is pretty simple. I'm gonna run this outside and we'll be right back. So as you can see, for what you get in the Starlink mini package, even just with the basic Roam 50 gig plan, it is amazing. The app is very well thought out. It is very easy to jump around and navigate, to see what obstacles might be in the way, to make sure your alignment is perfectly set up. Everything is very well thought out to get the absolute best data speeds. One call out too I do wanna mention, even though with the regular residential V3, satellite dish, you will also get probably about double almost what you pull in with the Rome just because it is not going to give you those extra speeds. That's something we have noticed pretty consistently in our demo of the minis and other videos we've seen of the regular Starlink dish. So having said that, everything in this app and the package aside from the $600 hardware cost really is very, very good. I will throw an affiliate link up down below. If you use it, you will get one free month of service, which will definitely help kickstart your beginnings with Starlink. In addition to that also, one thing pretty cool is if you are in a hurricane affected area, Georgia, Florida, certain areas of the Carolinas and other places you can see online on the map, they are currently offering a promotion to give you free service through the end of 2024. So you'll get about a month and a half of free service to really test out and see if you like it. Beyond that though, we've traveled with it in our Cybertruck. We've moved it from place to place. The speeds while you're driving are pretty consistent and actually surprisingly well. You also do have uh, to take in mind if there's trees in the way and other obstacles for that direct line of sight for the satellite, you might need a tripod or a mount if you're gonna keep this permanently located. I don't know how many people will do that since it's a Rome uh, and it's meant to really go with you, but I just wanted to call that out to let you all know it's something to consider. Starlink does actually sell a ton of accessories and mounts, even including a barrel to USB-C connector now. And we will have a whole separate video, kind of a spoiler alert for y'all, uh, in regards to power banks charging and actually utilizing Starlink on, so you don't even need to have any outlets around you. But we'll touch on that on a future video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.